All right, guys, we're back. Uh, this is our second video in like uh, two minutes, fucking ten minutes. Ten minutes, two minutes. But this one's gonna be about you know our favorite hockey team, our hometown team, the Sabers. You know we love them to death. Even they lose. Even when they lose, you know we're not those bandwagon fans. But we want to talk about recent things that have happened, considering goaltender hits and you know players. Now. What happened a few days ago when the Sabres played Boston, Milan Lucic took a run at Ryan Miller. Now, we're not saying it wasn't intentional or it wasn't accidental. You know, we don't know. We're not going to comment on, you know, if he did it intentionally because we think he did because, you know, that would be biased because we're Sabres fans or, you know, if Miller actually did it to get the penalty because, you know, then that's what Boston fans are saying. We're just going to give our opinions and voice what we think. And from my standpoint, I think that Milan Lucic had well enough room to keep from hitting Ryan Miller. And there was no way Miller could avoid the hit because he came out to play the puck to keep from the breakaway. Now, there's nothing wrong with that. Why would we do that? Um, and, yeah, you'll see it all the time. But the way he took a run at Miller was like he was hitting him like Campbell did with Umberger. Or Umberger, I'm sorry. And just... Wrecked him out, and you know, Ryan Miller has a concussion, you know, whether it's serious or not, we don't know yet, he's still practicing, you know, he's still going, and you know, some of the comments Ryan Miller said, yeah, were completely unnecessary, but he said what he felt, and I respect him for that, and, I you know, watch that video. What did he actually say? Uh, he called him a gutless piece of shit. I respect the fact that what he did was no, he had room, he had room to go around him, yeah. why he, put the shoulder in He had good 50 feet, um, but... You know, that's up for debate now, it's sparking this huge, you know, goalie no zone areas you can go, and all this stupid shit. And it's just like, you know, the hit happened, Even though, you and you know, and we think Brendan Shanahan dropped the ball in this one, and some people have commented on it and said, you know, he should have been punished more, because I mean, this was a pretty nasty hit. I mean, Miller did, what, like a corkscrew, like three times, and I know you haven't seen the video yet, but he corkscrewed. I'm going to go now, I want to see it, but I'm gonna... Even though I'm a big Miller fan, I do believe he can be kind of cold in games. Yeah. But that's like it happens about watch ten bucks we suspended, but this no couple games before Clever just headbutted some guy suspended four games. Who whoever this guy's name is? Lucic. Lucic checked him, made corks with him, and nothing happened. Yeah, and you know, and then I don't know like if you guys watched the game or not between Montreal and Buffalo, but I believe it was Eric Cole, I could be mistaken, took a run at Jonas Enroth while Enroth was in I'm sorry, Enroth was in the blue paint, the goalie crease. Where, you know, that's his area and you can't do that. I mean my thoughts are is, you know, the Sabres have two great goalies in Ryan Miller and Jonas Enroth. I mean Enroth is young and Miller's got the experience. But Miller's out right now, now it's Enroth's time to shine, and Eric Cole, or whoever it was, I really don't remember, comes across and just hits him. And it's like, our, our team starting to strategize against good goaltending by hitting him and running into him like that? I mean, these are questions that all need to be asked and need to have answers. And, you know, do we have the answers? No, we're just, you know, stating the obvious. It's like, this is two games in a row now. You know, what happens when... The Sabres play their next game, you know, is Enroth going to get hit harder? Is, you know, I'm like, hoping, what's going on? You know, I'm hoping, I know this is kind of like, I don't know what to say this, but you know what? If one time we play Boston, I'm hoping Clevers just fucking rocks him. Rocks him too. I hope he fucking rocks him. I mean... I'm sorry for my opinion, because I think yeah. he kind of deserves to get rocked after that. I don't care if Clevers upset him, he probably will, but like, if you should, it's just, you know what I mean? Defend your, even though, it's, even if your goalie's been high and cold the whole season, Defend your goalie. Get in there and defend them. Yeah, I see what you're saying, but I mean, you can't say that you know you you hope that they will. I mean, we don't know whether it'll be a clean game or not. I mean, they didn't even go after him after the hit, anyways. They should have. I'm sorry, they should have. Defend your team. Yeah, and you know, I mean, you gotta. There's gotta be a little common sense to it too. Did we win that game though? The Sabers, no, they lost. Oh. I didn't watch the game. Um, yeah, it was bad. The Sabres did beat Montreal, which is good. And Ross, you know, they came back to win. I like. I'm starting to like Enroth. Um, you know, I'm a big Miller fan. I still, I'm getting to be a bit bigger, big fan of Enroth too. No, yeah, he's performing pretty well, and you know, he hasn't lost this season yet, so good for him. I mean, I'm hoping Miller gets back. Step. I think, I hope Miller comes back better than ever. I hope he gets back to this game. Like, he can be a high goal, but why is he trying to leave? They win games, and he gives up the shutout. He's, I have to pick up a brick wall. Yeah. But in those games, we just fall apart. 
Yeah, but now we're getting off topic. And what we want to talk about is the safety of goaltenders. And we know they're players, and that if they come out to the puck, some come after the puck, some people believe that you know they're actual skaters. We got to remember, guys, goalies can't really score, and they can't play the puck past center ice. I mean, the hit, you know, whether it was incidental or not, is up for grabs. And you know, we want to hear your comments. We want to hear your thoughts. Uh, let us know, and we'll comment with you. You know, we'll be there right, the way, or right there with you. You know, we'll voice our opinions, you voice yours. Maybe we can brainstorm some solutions to these problems. I mean, I know it might not do anything, but, you know, maybe thoughts on what might happen in the future or whatever. And maybe, maybe, maybe the NHL sees our post, which I bet they won't. Probably not. But if they do, and they decide, it's it'd be great to see how we feel about it. Like I know, and, and like, I've talked to some Boston fans, and they've, I don't know, they take it like it's like, oh, Miller's, you know, the biggest wuss in the world, and it's like, you know, he's a goalie, I mean, they got all that equipment, but then again, you can't really avoid a hit and all of that, it's not like you're agile, but that's a completely different story, and, you know, leave us your comments, tell us your thoughts, you know, we want to hear everything you guys have to say. Uh, signing off, this is Saber. This is Mr. Plague. See you guys later.